What's up everyone? I am Magicide and welcome back to our succession series here playing as the Yabguid. Still in the war with the Chinese. And we're winning our war. I mean we have negative war score, but we are ultimately going to win because we have more troops than they do and we're gonna crush their faces. Something I forgot to mention in the previous episode was that uh, Paradox released a patch for Crusader Kings 2, the 2.8.1. And um, the devs swore up and down. They reassured me that 2.8.1 is completely and fully compatible with 2.8.0, which is the patch that uh, this campaign started on. So I just figured I'd give you guys a heads up about that. I completely forgot last episode and I apologize, but it isn't a big deal. Apparently there was some real big nasty bug with 2.8.0 and they're not going to allow that patch to be reverted back to because apparently, from what I was told, is that if you had mods activated and enabled in 2.8.0, it allowed you to get achievements, which is a big no-no. So anyways, let's uh, let's jump back in. All right, so we got a kinsman here. You need to get married. Uh, I don't care to whom. Still try to get, here you take that child. So where are we at right now? We have all these stacks over here that are merging onto this one province. And what we're doing is we're just waiting for my big doom stack to arrive to take care of this group. Oh. Like this. Yep, he's still... What he's doing is he's assaulting my territory. That's okay. Once I take care of his troops, everything will be good to go. Oh, yes. Can we get some commanders over here? We totally can. You know what? Let's give you some money so you stop hitting us. Same thing with you. I'll send you a small gift. <laughs> he changed his mind. Let's actually uh, slow the game down just a touch. Okay, why don't you guys all come over here? Awesome. Killed off one of his commanders. And, um... What was I thinking about just doing? Oh, it does- oh, that's right, uh, my prisoners. So we have none that are ransomable, but you know what I could do? We only have the one concubine. So perhaps what we could do... Let's reset this. Let's go to my court. Let's go into in prison, yes. We want women. Uh, we'll separate by age, first of all. And is there any... Okay, so we do have a 54-year-old quick, but she's too old. And same thing, 74 strong. So, we could just take some of these other younger ladies. I think we should. Let's go ahead and take you as a concubine. Make me babies! Okay, so where is this stack going? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to split you in half. I'll take that group to go there, and this group to go here. Oh, it's so great. Just need to take out his armies. Uh, I had to break up a fight between my brother Brett and another child today. Let's try to make him kind. And he does become kind. You know, the other thing I probably could look at is maybe forming a blood bond with somebody. You're 42. He doesn't like us because I think he's probably our rival. Let's form a blood oath. 
Dishonorable, short reign, title claimant. Okay, yeah, definitely get a blood oath with that man. And we could probably form a whole bunch of these other duchies while we have the piety. Of course, the money. I'm so proud of you, Brett. You were doing God's work with our campaign here. He is definitely... I told him that if we're going to do any kind of world conquest or whatever, our first thing is that we need to start knocking the, um, the Catholics down a peg or two, and our biggest concern was going to be the Byzantines and France. Because, you know, once Crusades start to kick off, you know, it's, uh, it's gonna be... They're gonna be pretty big and strong. Although, Blobhemia here needs to be knocked down too. So, I think the Byzantines are going to be my target after this. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do once all this nonsense is taken care of. All right, let's go ahead and speed up our game a little bit more. Excellent. Okay, there, there went that stack. Still trying to assault me here. It's quite all right. That's right, come at me. Okay, you're still betrothed to somebody. All right, why don't we just actually take all of our troops here just in case. I really hate to lose this battle. Even though I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, so you guys are going to be heading down this way. It's fine. Now what I need to do is actually probably start taking a, a stack over here to take out his territory. But we'll do that once we take care of his armies. And completely. <coughs> What's this? You want to marry these two people. Um... No, I want her to get married. Matrilinally. So we got a... No, you're too old. So why don't we do it the other way around? Uh, let's get somebody of age, because she is 30, so she does need to start pooping out kids here. Oh, nice. we got a siege commander. Um, come on, please let there be somebody here. Not too old. Everybody's getting older... Not seeing anything. It's kind of a bummer. I think I am going to have to marry her to an older man. Also, of course, I'm just not seeing it. I did skip over something, which I don't think I did. What's this? Way of the leopard. Way of the dog. All right. All right, so we got a 47-year-old attractive guy. Sure, why don't you just take that man? So some of my provinces are actually prospering. What do we need? A guardian. Yep. Give me them tech points. Go ahead and assault that last province, and then what we'll do... Where are you guys headed to? You guys are headed to Bost. And we do have this stack of 3,000 troops. Why don't you guys go ahead and start de-sieging some of this stuff? Yep, now it's gonna time it's gonna be time to take the offensive. Once I take care of this little stack, we're gonna march them up. And start sieging them out. As I retired to my tent, I was shocked to find oh, that's right. The Sunni Quran. 
Let's go ahead and read it. So just out of curiosity, where my, um, take a look at religious, uh, where is my, where are you located in BAM? And I know I just took a look at this not that long ago. I don't remember where that was. Because for whatever reason, I can't seem to, I'm not character fighter, I need to go to search for the province. For whatever reason, it's not showing me up, or showing up as a, as a pop-up. When a province actually converts, Balik of Bam. Okay, so it has finished converting. Let's go ahead and take this area over here. Oh, I can't actually do it. Um, I would really like to actually convert this stuff, all this Catholic land. So that way I don't run into revolts over there. gain our piety. Okay, nice. So what I'm going to do with the stack of troops is we are going to come up here and destroy them. Let's go right after their capital. As a matter of fact, what we could do is start sending some of our allies to come over here and start seeding some of this stuff out. Perfect. And this little stack here, why don't you guys go help these guys out? Then I suppose what I'll do after this army is vanquished, actually, I could probably do this now, is split you guys in half. Okay, and then I'll take you guys. Um, this stack here. Let's go ahead and just start assaulting. Take back our land. Actually, what I probably could do... There. So we'll just de-siege all of our stuff now. Awesome. Killed another one of their commanders. So instead of assaulting, I'm just going to slowly siege them out now. So we have a Miaphysite uprising. Where are you located? Somewhere way down there. So I, I'm going to have to take a stack over here to deal with them. Do I have any troops just lying about? I have these two groups. Um, why don't you guys... I don't care. Come down this way. I still have all of these troops. You know what? Why don't you guys come down here and deal with that? Or attempt to. Come down here to Gondar. Looking pretty sweet now. Okay, so that one's been... You know what, why don't we take back... Oh, we did take back our capital. Perfect. Alright, this is such a small... group. Why don't we take these troops to come down here as well? Since we don't really need these stacks anymore. And what I could do as well... Oh, let's pause. Let's in half. Same thing with you guys. Actually, I'm gonna just straight up carpet siege my own lands. Did he siege everything? Okay, so, well, that's pretty awesome. They did, uh, end up de-sieging everything. So, why don't you guys 
Let's see here. I need this group to come over there and um, you guys. You guys are all finished. Okay, let's go ahead and, and just assault this. Nice. And then, you know, I don't really need to bring the rest of these troops up there. So I guess I'll just swing you around. Actually, we'll split you in half. I'll take this other stack to come down here to deal with that. There. So, actually, I'm assuming that if I... If I just DCs all this stuff, I think I might actually end up winning this. Yes, get them married, please. So I have a new heir. A magicide. That's going to be flipping a lot, simply because... Nice, we got some tech. Let's uh, hard save our game. That's going to be flipping. Our new heir is always going to be changing, because these guys' uh, prestige is always going to be different. Actually, you know what? Why don't you guys just come straight up over here? Let's just... What'll do... We'll assault. Nice, and we get some more tech points. That is excellent. There's another one. Do I have any new prisoners? Nope. You know what? Let's just go ahead and assault this stuff over here. Through years of careful strategic planning, repeated tactical brilliance, and a measure of luck that makes believers of us all, we have managed to whittle down the enemy armies. I am almost beginning to dream of victory when my generals inform me that the Chinese Empress has dispatched more forces to the West. Wow. Well, we're going to be almost done with this because I'm taking the fight to him. Wait, what? Oh my god, these guys broke off. These guys broke off. Wow. So I do need to hurry up with my, my sieging. I really don't want to have to deal with another 130 some thousand troops. Actually, why don't we set everybody to come over here and de-siege all this stuff. Or to siege it, not de-siege it. Assault! Yep, there's our Catholic uprising. So where are these guys located? What happened to my stack of troops here? I had like 5,000 troops that were sitting right here. Or did I accidentally walk them? I think I accidentally walked them. All the way over. Son of a bitch. Well, we'll have to deal with that in a minute. I'm hoping it doesn't snowball out of control, though. 99% will take peace. Will you take peace? No? Okay. It's fine. There's our 100%. Now you'll take peace. <laughs> Try to get the fuck out of my land, motherfucker. Okay, let's um stand down all of our hired troops. And what are we left with here? Um, I do need a stack of like, say, 5,000 troops to come over here. 
so I can deal with the Catholics. And then as far as this stack over here, let's um, split you in half. And we'll send like, I don't know, one like way over here. How about that? And then the other stack, I'll take you south. You know, you're going to get attrition. And can we get some new armies? No. That sucks. Okay, well, let's finish up our revolts. News from China. Jurchen armies are finally retreating after a bloody war with the Yabguid Kaganate. Kagan Magisai II of the Yagwid Kaganate has shown the whole world that his leadership is one to be reckoned with. The defeat will live on in our memory and certainly in the mind of the eminent emperor, empress herself. And so the dragon recoils. I love it. All right, let's um split you guys up. As a matter of fact, you know what I could do? Oh, this is the Gaznavids. I don't, I don't really want to be fighting them quite yet. I'm going to be setting our sights on larger groups. And what I probably could do here is actually raise my vassals' ships here and get them ready to go. Why don't you guys come down here? At least we have some ships. The one problem I have is most of them are going to be down here. Which do nothing for us. I think that's all of them. I think anyways. Should be. Okay. And pause. So I got some woman here hiring people to kill me. Oh, I could potentially actually kill her. Can we get it up a little bit higher? I think we can. Send a gift. I really don't want to be fighting an adventurer right now. Lots of people here to pay off an invite. Oh, yes. My will be done. All right. And there we go. So now it's just... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? We have this group up here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do something like that and try to take these these raiders out. So I don't have to continue to mess around with them. As a pious man, after having read the text of Vendidad, you are more aware of the Davis' presence all around you and the danger they put your family and realm in. So you've decided that your house shall adopt one of the good spirits' dogs. Vang... V Vangapara? The dog with a prickly back? Sure. The dog called Vangapara is known as a vigilant creature of the Spenta Mainu. As darkness beckons, this dog wakes to keep us safe from its evil's evil creatures. This is why it is such a popular pet among Zoroastrian families. Oh yeah. The Vangapara shall protect my home well. So we got a dog. I'll take that. You know what? We have so many troops sitting here. I bet you I could probably take this like little stack to come over, over here. What I'm curious about, though, out of all the troops that I'm going to be sailing over here to deal with the Catholic uprising, how many of them are my vassals' troops? All right. Why don't you guys go ahead and deal with these people, and I want you to take our super general. I also want to pay attention to this 
stack that was over here. Alright, well, there's one down. Let's uh, execute you. So what I'm going to do, let's uh, split you guys in half. I'm going to keep a stack over here. For now. Until we're done with this uh, Catholic Uprising. Actually, you know what? Maybe what I'll do is after I take care of those raiders, I'll do it. Uh, let's see here. Nomad tax. Uh, wrestling morale of armies. Good. Let's get some more of that. And how is our... Okay, you guys. So where are these guys going? They are going to be going to Kyrgyz. So how's my little plot going? Can we hire anybody else? We can. Send a little bit more money people's ways. So everybody that I can hire, except for this woman, is going to be in on this. Whoa, it's something... The county of... Melgul has converted. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... We're going to stand down my vassal's troops so I know what I'm playing around with right now. You know what? I think I might actually just take these guys out. What's the deal with you people? You have no packs with anybody. We're going to declare war on you. Uh, I would like to just take you out. Subordination. Kyrgyz, um... What else do you guys control? So if we did this, it would just be for this one province. So, unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to take out two of their provinces. I don't want to do that. Why don't we do... If we did Cumania, we'd get rid of both of these. Yes. They have no more troops. I just took out all of them. Okay, now, as far as... All of our armies that are still walking up this way. Yeah, it's kind of what I was afraid of. But it does seem like we ended up with less ships over here. Which is quite unfortunate. Yeah, I have no more. Unless I hire some, and I definitely don't want to do that. <sighs> Pain in the ass. So we got to wait for all these groups to converge. Okay, so I'm fighting somebody else here. Who else am I fighting? See, my problem is... Is that as a nomadic horde, when you take over another nomadic horde's land... Unfortunately, you can't build forts. Okay, so these are just pastures. So I actually have to come over here. Probably should have taken a look at that to begin with. And who are the the other group? Okay, so it it's actually this group right here. You guys don't really have any troops. About about it. I think we can worry about that later. Okay, so do I actually have anybody over here? I do. What is this man? How many troops do you have, sir? Do it by total strength. Um, of Castile. No, the Yabguid Kaganet. So I own this? No. No, so that is just the one title. Okay, who owns this stuff? You know what I could do is probably... Why don't we try to raise my horde? What I want you guys to do... 
Let's come over here. Oh, please hurry. Oh. Hold up. Okay, what else can we get over here? So I might go for another wrestling. Horse archers technology spread rate would be pretty sexy. And how are we looking over here? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I would be able to get these guys. That actually kind of scared me. Empress Eku Zhongzong, known for her expansionist policy, has died, and Eku Shunzong now sits upon the dragon throne. It is said that he especially appreciates wealth, but despises eunuchs. Unlike his predecessor, the new emperor is known to favor the idea of an open China. Business as usual. Um, just out of curiosity, I mean, can we make him like like us? We could pay him tribute. He likes wealth. Um, we can ask for boon. So, where, does it actually show us? Oh, that's our that's our grace. So, if we paid him tribute, we sent him a gift of money, a whole shit ton of money, that would give us a whole bunch of grace with him. So, just out of curiosity. So he'd give us all kinds of good stuff, but it, man, is that expensive. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on that. You know what? Why don't you guys get on the ships here, and we'll meet up right there. You guys can do the same. <sighs> you know something else? If I am going to fight the Byzantines, I should probably think about moving the rest of my armies over here. Oh, look at that. Boom. And of course the clans want some more land. Of course they do. You bastards. So two counties. It's going to be the two counties that I just took over. Which is going to be that garbage county. Actually, they're both garbage counties. What are you called? Ket and Kemok. Um, hmm. So some of these guys actually have quite a bit of land. Got out so many titles. Here, grant you a cat. Balik of Ket. There's that guy. And what about this man? You've got a bunch of titles. You've got a bunch of. They all have a bunch of titles. I don't think you can get away around it. Uh, you you can have Kemok. Uh, let's see here. And there you go. So this this adventure threat is still going through despite having this immense amount of people here. Wow, we completely took them out. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yes. Let's take a look at our religious tab. Okay, so we own everything. Can we actually... Does he work like a Pope? Can we actually, um... Can actually offer... Or get money... Or anything from him. Whatever. Oh, my armies are almost over here, but I can't... I'm not going to be able to sail them all over. Please hurry. Oh, you don't want to become cynical. Alright, so I could do 4,900 troops. So let's make a new unit. 
for oh it's so close um we do this depleted one here we'll take this group here and we'll land over here in this province you know where did i uh set my okay so you are in provence but i did manage to convert this province yeah, so I think I'm going to keep a stack over here. Because I know we're going to continue to deal with Catholic uprisings. Alright, so... We do another harbor. We'll convert to Shilt Builder 1 when upgraded to a tribal. Yeah, well, we're not going to do that. A nomad tax, morale of armies, commander limit. Wow. Oh, yes. As soon as we can get done with this. Look at that, my, my allies here. My clansmen. They're doing it for me. Though it looks like they're gonna lose this battle. Carriage Farva is traveling with Sue and suffer. Oh, okay. Awesome. That's gonna be the start of our our uh, plot. So my question is, can okay, we hold war games? We do that. And we're losing a lot of money because we are still trying to reinforce all of our troops. So here's my thing: is that is that going to be enough troops to keep over here? Maybe it is. I guess we'll keep it as is for now. All right, let's get all of our troops on the border of Byzantium. Who are you guys? Dude, what are you what are you raiding me for? And then we have this stack over here. Alright, well Let's get our armies into position here. So here's all of our War games. Okay, now as far as the immortals go. Okay, you're still... Oh, he loves us. Oh, yeah, baby. So why does he love me so much? I mean, I know I gave him that big-ass gift. Gener oh, generous donation. Ah. Nice. Now we have vassalized the immortals. Basically, that I think that makes them free from now on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can we get some more levies? I'm assuming no. Warriors have come. Yeah, that's right, for the war games. They came from smaller farms, some with a goat or a pig to sell, some with only a bushel of vegetables or fruits. Others with a holy wagon of produce. The peasants sell their produce inside the city walls, but the burgers protest against it and want to forbid it. Um, I want money. Give me money. Let's take a look at our laws, by the way. Okay, feudal taxation looks good. Tribal taxation. You know, I should probably get large tribal levies. I don't think we really have many tribes. I mean, I don't know how how much I really want to do that. How many troops do I have right now? 63,000. How many troops do the Byzantines have? They have definitely expanded some. He's got 21,000. And he has no allies. Well. Great Holy War for Lithuania. Say what? Why? Why are you doing it up there? Um, 
Oh, okay. So I think I maybe misconstrued what Brett told me because Brett sent me the save file and he mentioned something about the Western Protectorate in China attacking us and then there was a crusade. I thought he meant a Catholic crusade. I thought he meant that we were defending against a crusade. But what I think he meant was it was one of these, the Zoroastrian Great Holy War, which is like our version of the Crusades. Aha. You know, I think I might actually join in on that. But we're going to wait. First of all, all of our troops are way out of position. And I want to attack the the Byzantines first. And then whatever's left of the crusade, then we'll, we'll worry about it then. So it looks like... So the Sultan here is declaring a holy war over WAG. You know what? I'm going to revoke your fucking title. How about that? I think that's what I'm going to do. How about we just revoke your title, dude? Ongoing war. I can get rid of your sultanate. And if you, if you rise up against me... Okay, so he lost his sultanate, and he, I can't actually revoke his other title. And, uh, we have to get rid of a couple more vassals. Um... So let's go back into Character Finder, right? Let's go into Realm. Let's do my religion, my culture. We want ruler, yes. Um, uh, is there anybody out there that's content? Just this one vassal. And she's got cancer. I can't actually give anybody else here any landed titles. That really sucks. Okay, so let's reset it. Do I have anybody else here? We have this man who doesn't like us. Why don't you like us? He's ambitious. Okay, well, well let's not do you then. How about this woman right here? Let's uh, grant you a landed title. So... The Khanate of Iraq. Wow, I have so many kingdom titles. Um, <laughs> the good question is, is which one do I want to give her? Uh, Syria, Portugal, Persia. I want to give you per uh, Persia. Persia belongs in my family. So what I could do... How about for France? That actually increased my vassals. Why do you hate us then? You want a whole oh you want a whole bunch of duchy titles. So you want um some of those some of these. Let's which what do you want? You want Barry, Anjou, Flanders, Orléans, Valois. Okay. I'm sure I could probably give you a couple. Let's give you a, a Valois. Oh, there's Orléans. Let's grant you another one. I'll give you what I said I was going to give you. Okay. And then let's uh, slide you a couple of vassals. Actually, you are feudal, so I'm not going to give you more than that. Um... You know what I could also do, actually? Let's reset this. And we have this Turkish woman here. She's ambitious, though. See, that's why I really wish there were Booleans here. So that way I could say not ambitious. Um, okay, you're about to die, but I'm sure I can probably slide something your way. Uh, why don't I give you Armenia? And you want the Duchy of Armenia. I think I could probably do that for you. The Bayer Belek of Armenia. Okay, and then... Now she wants a whole bunch more stuff. Uh, let's see, what else do you want? How about... Mesopotamia. Bayer Balek, where are you? Mesopotamia. 
Okay. And you really have no vassals, so let's uh, slide a couple underneath you. Uh, let's see, transfer vassal. It sucks that they're not content, but I guess that's okay. So he... Actually, let's not give you that, man. Right? Because he is on my cancel. Well, he hates us. So, maybe I will give you him. Uh, transfer vassal. Yes, you can have this man. He was my steward. But we have this man. Which is great. Let's have you oversee construction. Right there. And we need a new chancellor. But we got some really old ones. So, yeah, that looks good. Our spy master, let's give you an honorary title and uh, slip you a little bit of gold. So your opinion of us is nice and high. We have one child here, a nephew. First of all, let's get you married. Let's try to find you somebody that's around your age. Okay, so you've got a five-year-old that's strong. Excellent. Uh, let's assign you a guardian. I'll do it myself. And let's hard save our game here. So why are these guys... I don't, I'm not really understanding why that stack is trying to raid me. It matters not. Uh, she wants limited crown authority. Um, can we actually see what the laws are? Uh, can I... I don't know if I can. I mean, it is... It should be. Count of Navarra... I mean, because it is still part of my kingdom. Or my empire. Maybe not. Um, sure. Awesome, we just took care of our adventure threat. Ah! Ah! She wants to institute limited crown authority. Didn't you already do that? Okay, so we got a Miaphysite uprising. Again. Which means I need to keep a stack of troops there. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just take these people and have you go deal with it. You know, for fighting off the... or fending off the Chinese like that, I think we should have received a hell of a lot more prestige for doing so. Because that was pretty awesome. So we have a new... Uh, niece. Okay. Well... Jesus, man. Kanan. Can we... Uh, Let's go to a joint court. Yes. Um, let's see here. Uh, where's it? Adult? No. So we have a whole bunch of kids here. I think we could totally... Oh, wait. Well, joint court. Yes. So we can't actually get any children. Okay. So we'll just do joint court. Yes. Um, and then we'll do married... No. We want men. Try to get the youngest guys we can. Okay, you're a hunchback, though. But he's got pretty excellent... Marshall. Let's get a couple... Let's get some men. Let's make this a sausage fest. Because I'm running out of people to marry. For my female courtiers. Or my female kinswomen. I don't even really care what their stats are. I just need some guys. Some younger guys. I want to go buck wild with this. Okay. We'll unpause here and let that roll out. Okay, you are betrothed. Okay, a whole bunch of people said yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait. No, oh, what are you doing? Motherfucker. Come on. Let's go to my heir. 
Go to your family. Okay, you, lady. Okay, so now, oh wait, we want matrilineal. Matrilineal, yes. And we could probably take a look at our commanders. We might be able to replace some of them, even though most of them look pretty good. Like this guy's fabulous. Actually, you know what? We're gonna get you married, sir. You're 61. Oh, there we go. 38 year old who's a genius. We actually don't need you to lead my troops over here, by the way. He's gonna die soon. What's this? My super commander. Well, he's so old. I would prefer if he actually continued to. Manpower growth. Yeah, we absolutely need that. Alright, anyways. We're finally back to making some money. So all I'm waiting for right now is this stack to actually come on down here. Because I think I'm going to go after... Let's see here. What is this area? Anatolia. Yeah, I think I'm going to go after Anatolia. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to babysit this. Okay, so somebody just converted. Do I have any commanders that have any kind of movement? Uh, leading from the center... should just say movement. Defense, religious... I think it's just organizers. So, out of my commanders... Um... This woman here, do I have an organizer? Org. I do not. Well. That sucks. I mean, I suppose I could probably look for one. Why don't we look for one? We want organizer. But search all. Join court. Yes. Uh, not married. Actually, I don't care if they are married. Damn. Thirty-five-year-old strong man, you should come to my court. <sighs> Very disappointing. So I actually have a court physician here. Maybe you should come to my court. Maybe there's just none available. Maybe that's just the way it is. Trickster. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. Oh well, we're just gonna have to roll with it. Okay, so we have a peasant revolt here. Which is way down here. Alright, well, what we need to do is actually give you some commanders. This might actually be a kind of a close battle. Who are these guys? I think I could probably raise a vassal troops. This is going to be a duke of the Jalid Emirate. Uh, let's see here. I'm just looking at the flags themselves. So is this guy like not... I don't control him directly, do I? Because these are all... Wait. This man right here. Do I have any, like... I don't think so. I think I'm just stuck with this. Oop, this group over here. Rouge of the military might of the Zia... Or is that Ja? 
Empire is proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool in itself. After what seems like a brief period, a brief negotiations, Khan Saitek, uh, the Conqueror, has peacefully agreed to become a tributary state of the Middle Kingdom. Their, courture, or their couriers whisper that they can only hope that the relationship between the Khan and the Heavenly Empire to be a fruitful one. Where's this guy at? Where's your where's your con at? Wow. Jesus Christ, man. These guys are getting kind of a little big for their britches, don't you think? So I'm curious, if I attacked this group over here, these guys, if I attacked them, I'm wondering if China would join in. 50% of their income, wow. So we definitely were better off to actually fight them off. Although I'm thinking we might need to go up there and start pressing our claim in that area. All right, well, as soon as I'm done with some of these rebel groups, we'll go ahead and uh, declare a war on the Byzantines. Actually, we're running close to an hour here, so I might just take care of them first. So that was just a peasant revolt. Get some peace. Go ahead and take care of this other group. Actually, it's going to happen, so why don't we just go ahead and do it before these guys become a problem for me. So they got almost 20,000 troops now. So let's declare our war. I want an invasion for Anatolia. Yep. And then call in our one ally. All right, let's call in our clans. And our vassals. Okay, and all of these beautiful stacks of troops can come right here. Right, so, as far as Anatolia goes... Although, I, I don't want to lose sight of the prize here. I mean, there is a crusade going on right now. I don't want to forget about that. It's kind of important. So, I do have all these troops over here. You know what? Why don't you guys all just station there in Provence, just in case we get a another revolt there. I don't want to make that same mistake I did once, or that last time. And then as far as all of our vassal troops over here, why don't you guys come over here? And then these stacks, why don't you guys do the same? Come down this way. And since we can actually take the oh there why can't we why can't we raise you oh because he's locked locked himself into his his area his shits his castle that thing and I think that takes care of all of our troops around here if I'm not mistaken actually you know what why don't you guys stay put take care of these raiders? So I'm going to call it an episode here. It seems like a pretty good place to uh, stop the episode in our next episode. Well, um, I'm going to take care of this revolt down here, which is ain't no thing. And then, uh, well, it's onward to the Byzantines yet again. And then after that, we're going to join in on this crusade. I think if it's still a pro, if it's still, well, it, there's zero war score and there's a whole lot of people here attacking these guys so i'm sure it's gonna go on for quite a while so i'll see you guys in the next one thank you very much for joining me take care and have a good one